Good evening and welcome to Bath High School. Tonight we have a special feature for you tonight. A pair of undefeated non-conference phones playing each other this evening. That would be the Bath Wildcats. Greg Mark's team is 5-0 and and they are playing the Delphi Jefferson Wildcats. The East Linderman team is 6-0. and My name is Mark Schein. My pleasure to do play-by-play -play alongside to do our analysis, Mr. Darren Gilbert. Darren, let's look at Jefferson for 6-0. and They won a couple of conference games and Coach Linderman has got them playing really well right now. Well, it's not a surprise. I mean, you look at the numbers that that, that that team has put up in the last couple of years and the victories that they put up and obviously having a quality player like Lindemann and, and some of the other returning players, it's, it's, it's not a surprise, but this is a great opportunity for them to come on the road to a WBL foe right before Christmas, before you head into that uh, second half of the season, which starts January 1 of 2024. Well, Darren, let's look at one thing, because each team is down a, a significant player this evening, and for time for Duffus Jefferson, that's Lauren French will be out this evening. Yeah, that's a big hit for them because she does so much for them, both physicality-wise at the offensive end, setting screens, rebounding, and, and scoring in the paint. So, you know, it's going to have to be the next person up mentality for them. But they're going to have their hands full because Bath is so doggone deep in point production right now with three girls over, what, 14 points a game or right near that. And so it's going to take a solid effort for, for the Wildcats here tonight against uh, – the other Wildcats. So yeah, there you go. Well, Lauren French is out with an ankle. She will be back, hopefully, by the first of the year when they begin a non-conference or back into conference play. They will start number 11, Maddie Burr, six point and a half points per game for her. 15 is Lindemann, 25.8 points per game, 6.7 rebounds. Kirsten, Kirsten Moore wears number 20. She's averaging 2.7 points per game. Claire Brinkman uh, is number 21. She uh, averages 4.8 points per game. And Carolyn Mueller wears number 23. She averages 3.3 points per game. They average 58.5 points per game. They give up 38.2. How about the Bath Wild Kittens and Greg Mock's team? Well, I'll tell you what, you know, looking at the stats, you know, they've, they've played the five games and they've had Ann, Ann Oliver uh, leading twice, Claire Faust leading twice, and then Kelsey uh, Carlson open up the, the season leading them with 15. You know, looking at their scoring, they're coming in at 53.4 points a game. Two girls right now tied at the top, Faust and Oliver at 14.2, and then you got Carlson chipping in at 10.2. The impressive part, Mark, looking at their overall team numbers, they're shooting a very respectable 52.3 from the field, two-point range, but their opponents are only at 32.3. So that's a huge uh, contributing factor on why Bath is being so successful right now as they're locking people down at the defensive end of the floor. They are missing Mara Davis. She has a broken ankle, the freshman guard, who was starting earlier in the year. She probably will not be not back this year. If she is, it will be very late in the season, perhaps close to tournament time. Bath Wild Kittens will start Faith Clark. She wears number two. She averages two points per game and is an excellent defensive player. Claire Faust wears number 22. She's a 6'1 senior at 14 points a game and Darren 16.2 rebounds. 23 wow. is Kelsey Carlson. 5'8 sophomore averaging 10 points a game. 24 is Izzy McDermott. 5'6 sophomore, 6.8. And Ann Oliver wears number 32. She is a 6'0 senior and she averages 14 points and nearly 5 rebounds and 5 assists. We have a pair of undefeated teams for you this evening. That would be the Delta Jefferson Wildcats at 6-0. The Bath Wild Kittens at 5-0. Tip-off coming up. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back at Bath White High School, Delphi Jefferson Wildcats, the Bath Wild Kittens on your Monday night high school basketball. Our scoreboard is sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphi, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. We've had our starting labs given to you already, our officials this evening, B.J. McFerrin, Brian Schoonover, and Patrick McKinnis is about to toss the basketball. And Faust tips it into the backcourt and then does so to Faith Clark. Bath going from right to left in their white uniforms, blue and gold trim. And Jefferson in the red uniforms. This is Kelsey Carlson. And now Ann Oliver. Oliver heads baseline, muscles up, overshoots it, and the rebound comes into the hands of Kirsten Moore. Yeah, really good job there by Jefferson walling up inside. Lindemann missed that shot. Oliver tips the ball to herself and will lead the break. 
Faith Clark with the basketball. This is Izzy McDermott. And now Claire Faust. McDermott gets a three look and nails it. Boy, what a quick, quick release, partner. I mean, she got it, got her hands and feet set and let it rip. Izzy McDermott now has a seven made three point field goals on the season to go with her almost seven points per game average. This will be a left handed three out of the corner by Claire and Carolyn Muir. Tipped into the corner. Rebound is Maddie Burris. And she gives it back to Liv Lindemann. Good job chasing that one down. Looks like Bass going to go back into a 2 3. They come out and then that 2 2 1 3 quarter court. Ball is kicked by Oliver. And we'll stay with Jefferson. Jefferson won our JV game tonight. That was 33 18 score. Here's Lindemann with the basketball. Back does stay in that 2 3 zone. Lindemann had the five count going right there. Had to give the ball up to Kirsten Moore and gets it back. Yeah, I think it's more so in that 2-3 just to contain the dribble drive action of Lindemann right there and making sure somebody's there for the help support. Pace and possession. Moore has the basketball. Now Lindemann. She heads baseline. It's cut off and with a tip. Trying to get the ball into the hands of Matty Burris and could not do so. Goes out of bounds to Bath. Yeah, real nice job there denying the basketball back for Bath. Appeared to be number 24 McDermott right there. Nice closeout. Clark walks the ball across midcourt. Oliver comes off a screen by Faust. Bounce pass inside is stolen. Knocked away by Mueller. Quick hands by that young lady. Lindemann gets a screen twice into the lane. Bounce pass. Overshot it inside. Did Burris. Rebound to Faust. Boy, what a pretty play there on the dribble drive, splitting it, using the bounce pass. Carlson gets called for an offensive foul as Kelsey Carlson picks up our first foul in the basketball game. Yeah, Miss Mueller stepped right in there. Kepper ground took the charge. Nice, nice play there. Turnover, Bath Wildcats. Brinkman inbounds to Lindemann, gets the 2 2 1 press. Not a soft nuisance type press. Throws it ahead to Mueller. Into the corner to Burris. Long three. Nope, she stepped out of bounds first. Wonder if BJ to give her a four right there. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that was dead. I mean, look at that. That was deep. Clark advancing the ball against Lindemann, picks it up and loses it. Lindemann with a steal. Nice pressure right there. Both girls getting after it on the floor. Well, Liv Lindemann, uh, Darren averages four steals a game, and she got one right there. Three minutes into this one. Yeah, 25% already there, isn't she? Matching her number. Miller looked at a three and turned it down. Burris. Pass goes inside to Brinkman. There's a cross court pass. It was well done. Shots blocked by Oliver, however, and she will lead the break. Oliver out in transition to Faust. Scramble for the ball. Faust rips it loose and throws it over to Carlson. McDermott. Now I know why she's averaging 16 rebounds a game, partner. Man, when she got her hands on it, nobody took it from her. Oliver looked inside to Faust, couldn't get it there. Another three, that one's short, and rebound to Burris. Not many whistles early on. We just keep playing. Lindemann works inside and traveled trying to get a shot up. Halfway through the quarter, we get our first sub. That will be number 40, Kyla Carter. Of course, Lauren French is out this evening. She wears number 42 and 10 points and 12 rebounds a game with a bad ankle. Hope to get her back after the first of the year or around that time. Carlson looked at it, didn't take it. Now Oliver lobs inside Faust, catch, step through, missed a shot, rebounds her own, goes back up and scores. Claire Faust. Yeah, she might have got away with one right there, partner, with, her, with that little extra step. But 
Official let him play through. Nice finish on the step through. Rindeman all the way inside. The ball's tipped loose. Oliver again. McDermott. And it gets loose. Picked up by Moore. Kirsten throws it across court to Burris, but a hustle play knocked it out of bounds by Izzy McDermott. Did a nice job running through that passing lane, didn't she? She did for a fact. Here comes number 10 in the game. That'd be number 10, Kaya Kimmett will enter. She averages three a game for Bath. Number 10, uh, Marley Mason will enter. Five, six freshman. Looks, throws it out on top to Burris. This is Kimmett that just checked in a moment ago. And Lindemann. Five minutes into this, Wildcats can't get on the board. Here's a three look. Just a little bit long, and the rebound comes to Mason, who just checked in. Good looking release right there. Just a little I, bit too hard. I thought it was good when she shot it, Darren. It did from up here, didn't it? McDermott. Faust, 30 feet away from the basket, out near the volleyball line. Looking at Oliver inside, but the defense has sagged there. Here's Faust, step down, baseline move, and she will draw the first foul of the basketball game to go against Jefferson. I think that was on Carter, got her across the arm. Official said she wasn't vertical. Claire Faust shoots 54% from the free throw line. That step through move she did a moment ago, she is really, really good at that. Oh, her footwork is exceptional. Comes number 12 in for Bath, Quinn Faust. That will be after the free throw, the initial free throw. Point three for Claire Faust. Here comes Gwen Faust into the game. She will replace McDermott. Wow. Coming into the night, had 26 free throw attempts already early in this season. Claire Faust, another point four for her. Wildcats up 7-0. She has four, McDermott has a three ball. And that's going to foul, is going to go against Marley Mason on the sideline. She stuck a leg out with Lindemann trying to get past. Yeah, Lindemann didn't avoid that contact for sure. She got her shoulder into the defender and drew that foul. Smart, heady basketball play. Lindemann, cross court Burris. Been a really effective 2 3 zone. The Wildcats have played. Faith Clark with a steal. She will throw it ahead and to the rim. And let's see about the defensive play was by Lindemann as Mason got loose, but Lindemann knocked it out of bounds. Two good plays. Mm. The steal was exceptional, and also Lindemann's effort getting back, getting a hand on the basketball, keeping that uh, bath opportunity, nullified that opportunity for a Carolyn, breakaway layup. Carolyn Mueller will check back in. Oliver throws it inside to Faust. Pivots, throws it back out. Good job on the dig down by Jefferson. Here's a three that'll go up. Missed everything. And the rebound saved on a nice play by Gwen Faust. And that's oh, nice stolen play. inside. Yes, it was. My kind of Carter stepped in front of that pass. 90 seconds to go, opening quarter. Bounce pass inside, taken away by Oliver. Wild kittens have numbers. Oliver steps through and she traveled. Switch pivot feet. One twenty-six to go, opening quarter. Carlson's back in the game. Lindemann goes baseline, has to stop as she's cut off by Faust. Yeah, one thing about it, when you play that 2-3 zone, if you've got some space eaters inside with length, and that's what Bath does, they can stop that dribble drive action. Three bounces around for Burris. Nope, rebound, and the foul inside on hustle play by Kirsten Moore. She will get to go to the free throw line. Yeah, heck of an effort by that young lady on the glass. She got went up there at its peak with two hands, and. Drew the contact, I think she's gonna get two free throws as a result. Claire Faust gets the 
Wildcat foul. That's the third of the quarter for them. Jefferson has just one foul here in our opening quarter. Back to the rim. Yeah, Jefferson is a team coming in just under 69% at the charity stripe as a team. That's a really good percentage early on in this season. Got there 114 times. Back in the room again, rebound. Carl Carlson got that one. This is McDermott. Gwen Faust, pass oh. inside, and that's stolen. Lindemann headed the other way. Burst with a nice deflection. And she goes all the way to rim, and she traveled getting to the rim. <laughs> Kyle Kimmett enters the basketball game, as does Faith Clark. 30.8 to go. Wild Kittens probably looking at the last shot of the quarter. Oliver, and then back to Clark. And what do we got? We're going to get a foul. That foul will go against Carolyn Mueller. She went through Ann Oliver with 14 seconds to go. This will be a baseline out of bounds. Yeah, that one, if there's any such thing, that's not a bad foul. It was an aggressive play. No shot given. Lob out front, Oliver. Here's Clark. Carlson works the lane. Left-handed shot goes up a little strong. The rebound comes to Maddie Burris. Lindemann at midcourt. She's going to get a look at it from the volleyball line. Got it. Does it count? That's that a big it one. It does. Liv Lindemann finally gets loose at the buzzer and scores the first basket. For Jefferson, it'll be 7-3 Wild Kittens at the break. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. End of one, Wild Kittens 7, Jefferson 3 on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. You can find Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delta Sand in St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken where home style happens here. Big three at the buzzer maybe for Jefferson. Well, that, let's see if we can't get that, you know, if, if you're Jefferson, you can't get that, you know, as a positive momentum thing here as we enter the second quarter. And you're only down four points. Now, both teams really locked it down defensively. Claire Faust has four for the Wild Kittens. Izzy McDermott has a three ball. That's their seven. And you saw Liv Lindemann make that three at the buzzer. And that is Jefferson scoring the opening quarter. Bath basketball out of bounds. Oliver finds Clark in the backcourt. Very much a defensive opening quarter. McDermott looking inside. There's Faust down there. Backs inside, muscle, muscle, goes up strong, and it shot a little bit hard. Little bit rebound. That was a nice defensive series. Well, I was getting ready to say great offensive series, too. Man, what a great job with the footwork. He had defensively, great job walling up, had, one and done. That she did. Walled up and forced a tough shot. Almost went down. Here's that 2-3 zone again with Lindemann on top, looking for a screen from Brinkman. Clark out to play that one, but Lindemann secured it. Yeah, Coach Malk's definitely got it designed defensively. Wherever Lindemann goes, there's going to be a help support there. This three is going to go up from Carolyn Mueller. Nope, Lindemann rebounds. She's in the lane. Short jumper. Got that one. She's got five in the game. Good job catching and gathering, using that head and shoulder fake to get her some space away from the tall defenders, knocking Aver it down. Average is just under 26 points a game, 6.7 rebounds, pass inside, score Oliver. And Oliver's in the books. She averages 14 a game and is now in the books. And there's Lindemann in transition. Tip loose and Clark hustles into it. Faith Clark has it to the rim. And left-handed finish for Faith Clark. 
That will be a timeout for Coach Lindemann. 6.20 to go here in the second. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. There is no admission fee to watch this game, but there is a cost for us to broadcast. Say thanks to viewer support of TV44 by sending a financial gift. TV44 relies on the donations of viewers to enable airing this game and other locally produced programs. Donate now at WTLW.com and click Donate. You know, Darren, we got Megan Sherrick with us tonight. She's been working with those choir concerts they've been putting together. All the high school choirs that come into the station. Those will air over the Christmas weekend. That's always a special event. I heard she's a heck of a baker, too. She is a good baker. Yeah. We usually put that choir concert on uh, kind of his background music on, on Christmas Day. It's kind of that roll in the background from WTLW. Awesome. She yeah. does an awesome job, as well as all the other ones. A couple of quick baskets, and uh, Coach Lindemann took a timeout as the lead went to 11 5. Pass inside, going inside, trying to get the ball to the rim. Oh, got a Was foul, I Brinkman. Did we get contact? Yeah, I think we got a slap across the arm. That goes to Ann Oliver. Ann Oliver's first foul. There are four different Wild Kittens with a single foul. And that is the first of quarter number two on either team. Pass inside goes to Brinkman. And cross court tried to get it into the hands of Kirsten Moore, but could not, and Moore will take it out of bounds again. Lindemann, one of the three, look, step back three for her. A little bit hard, hit the support up above, and wow, getting basketball. She's just so solid fundamentally when she gets a basketball in her hands, creating space, getting her shot opportunity. She has made 19 out of 32 three-point field goals coming into this evening. That is a 59% ratio from the three-point line. Well, the one she hit there at the end of the yes. first quarter was way out there. Faust looking inside to Oliver, lob it down, triple team. Carlson gets a three look. Good ball movement. Sure, Kelsey great Carlson's in the books with her 10th three-point field goal of the season. Yep, didn't satisfy for the good shot. They played for the great one, and they found it, that extra pass. 14 to 5, Wild Kittens. They're playing a little, uh, what, boxing one now? Clark's good chasing ball, Lindemann yep. around. Yep. And Brinkman gets it blocked by Faust to Oliver. And back to Oliver. She pushes the action. McDermott looks inside to Faust, and we're going to get a pushing foul. Claire Brinkman picks up the first foul of quarter number two for Jefferson, and Kyla Carter will enter. Lob out top. Oliver looked at three. Carlson and Faust inside. Blocked from behind, gets a rebound back. That was blocked as well. And we'll head the other way for Lindemann. Good effort by Kyla Carter. Yeah, because, you know, she got the ball in scoring position and nice defensive stop by the red and white. Here's a three that'll go up and bounce into the arms of Oliver, and she'll be rebound fouled by Kyla Carter. That is Carter's second. And into the basketball game comes Carolyn Mueller. Fourteen to five, kittens up early. Halfway through quarter number two. Nice crowd tonight for a non-conference game on a snowy Monday night. Yes. Clark working. Carlson. Faith Park looked inside. And they bring it back out and reset. Pass inside, Faust. Really.
really been, that was a battle going inside there it between was. Carter and Faust, and eventually the lob pass got to Faust. Oh yeah, you got Jefferson basketball down in the corner right there, and they like that mixing up action inside. It was clean play. Carolyn Mueller picked up her second foul. Faust goes to the free throw line. She made a pair back in quarter number one, has four points. You know, being a former big man, she does a great job when she catches the ball down in the post. Not only does she square up with it, Mark, very rarely do you see her bring the basketball down. If she catches it high, she keeps it high. Darren, you are not a former big man. You are still a big man. <laughs> Makes a second. How about a former big man player? <laughs> How's right. that sound? <laughs> I'm a sport, or now I'm just a big man uh, spectator. Ten point lead, Kittens. Mueller gets a three look. It bounces around, and Faith Clark tracks down a rebound near the three-point line. 3.30 to go in quarter number two. Oliver trying to post up. And now Faust, and she's going to get pushed from behind by Kyla Carter. And Kyla will pick up her third foul of the opening half. Yeah, that's a position foul right there. She just got beat to the spot. Unfortunately, and Kyla got caught reaching over the back, so to speak, or reaching around. Claire Brinkman entered. That is the fourth team foul for Jefferson here in quarter number two. So the Kittens will be shooting free throws on any subsequent fouls. Lob to the corner. Oliver inside. She's going to post up. Drop step, left hand. That left it a bit short. Hustles into the rebound and tips it out to a teammate. Good second effort there by Bath going to get the basketball off the miss. Oliver, Faust. Throws it back out to Oliver. Three point in. Oliver, hard. Tracked down by Lindemann in the corner, and she will lead the break. As Lindemann finally got loose in the lane in transition. Didn't shy away from the contact, went right to it, threw the foul. And Oliver will pick up her second foul. She's the second, first wild kitten to do so. Probably a pretty good play by Lindemann, uh, Darren, because she's had trouble getting open in the half court offense. They tried to do something in transition with her that time, and she has point six. Yeah, she's trying to do whatever she can to create something down the lane, getting an opportunity to dish it off. And they did early on, but Bass made some adjustments there. But like you said, she's trying to do whatever she can to get the ball to the basket. 15-6 now, 15-7 on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Under three here to go in the second quarter. It's the second team foul. That ball's tipped in the backcourt, and then she went over and back. Yeah, good quick hands there by Lindemann, creating that turnover just with her defensive prowess there and her <laughs> quick hands. Liv Lindemann has all seven Jefferson points. She gets a couple of screens. And then Faith Clark will get called for a foul as she was impeding the progress of the ball handler. That's Faith's first. And team's third of the quarter. Lindemann in the backcourt. Now dribbles up with Faith Clark guarding her. A couple of screens out top. Yeah, trying, to, trying to create some space for Lindemann to penetrate or come off those screens, not facing that double team action, so to speak. Pass inside Brinkman. And now Mueller. Here's Lindemann. She wanted to shoot that one. I thought it was going to go up, I too. I did, too. Brinkman's working inside. Nice footwork. Good bounce pass, but it was knocked out of bounds on a good defensive play and really good defensive play because she knocked it off the, the leg of the Jefferson player. Gwen Faust activity. You know, not only is, you know, Bath physical in the inside, but they're also their length that's caused so many problems because they get their hands on so many basketballs off these passes. Marley Mason it's tipped out of bounds by Lindemann. Bath's got a big weekend coming up here. They've got their holiday tournament on Friday night. Notre Dame Academy plays Bryan at 6.30. Bath plays Marion Local at 8.00. And then the winners will play and losers will play on Saturday, the 23rd. So big weekend coming up here at Bath. The annual holiday tournament. If 
Faust trying to get loose in the lane. This is Claire Faust, and she gets doubled up, and we're going to get a held ball. Good defensive play. Liv Lindemann will go over to the red team as Carolyn Mueller checks back in the game. Yeah, good job digging down into the post from the perimeter, helping out, getting that held ball turnover. Lima Bath. You can check out the web website, WSN.TV, for scores and standings for more sports and teams than anywhere else in the state. Check out our broadcast schedule, upcoming games, and social media posts at WOSN.TV. Approaching a minute to go. Yep, staying in the box in one. Lindemann working on Clark into the lane. This three is going to go up from Burris. And Faust climbs the ladder for the rebound, but Lindemann knocks it loose from behind. Scramble for the basketball, and Faust gets it. And she's going to get called for an offensive foul. Yeah, Coach Monk didn't like that one. Claire Faust gets called for an offensive foul as she secured the rebound and then went into a Jefferson player. And now we're going to have some discussion about it. It's going to be called an intentional foul because the contact was above the shoulders. Okay. So that's a two shots in the ball type situation. And into the game will come Allison Hunterfeger. She's a 5'9 sophomore. And Claire Faust sits down with a couple of fouls. The shooter becomes Claire Brinkman. And we're going to have to clear the lane for her to shoot these two. And then it'll be an out of bounds situation for Jefferson. See, and I'm wondering to Mark if she just takes a pivot with a pivot foot. Yeah. That may not be called, but I'm wondering if the upper torso turns what drew that intentional foul. Claire, Claire Brinkman, who shoots 78%, the free throw line makes the first, and the second one does not go down, but it will be Jefferson Ball out of bounds with 49 and a half seconds to go. This is called point of interruption. The ball is taken out of bounds closest to the area where the whistle occurred. Unlike technical fouls, which come out at midcourt. Lindemann, chased by Clark. She wants to step back three, but they get to her in time. This will be a three ball from Lindemann. That's short. And trying to save the basketball on the baseline was Claire Brinkman, but she stepped out of bounds in the process of doing so. Yeah, good effort right there. Just had her foot on the baseline. So both starting big girls for Bath. Claire Faust and Ann Oliver have two fouls that are seated as we play the last 30 seconds here of quarter number two. Here's Clark harassed out front by Kimmett. Five count going. She beat it. No, she did not. Couldn't advance the ball past it. Good defense right there by Jefferson. 19.6 to go. See if the last shot of the half goes to the Jefferson Wildcats. Kristen Moore wanted to check in, but didn't get to the scores table in time. High screen set by Brinkman. Lindemann, another long three at the buzzer. That will bounce around and not go. We played 16 minutes on the lead. Famous recipe chicken scoreboard. He'll be back 15. Dolphins Jefferson, eight. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back at Bath High School. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Golfless, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Darren, it's a it's 15A Wildcats, but they got a couple girls in foul trouble right now. Well, you know, they, I don't even mention two there, but you know, being short-handed with the Wild Jefferson Wildcats, you know, not having French tonight, they brought in and played Carter. She's sitting with three, so. Fouls are going to start mounting up on the interior. But, you know, looking at the score, 15 to 8, it's not like it's a half-court game here. Both teams are trying to get it up and down the floor. Both teams are just playing well defensively and limiting Jefferson to one shot where Bath is getting their opportunities that appeared early from the perimeter. Now they're starting to go inside. But seven points, you know what? Three possession game, anything's possible here this second half. 
Jefferson have quarter scores of three and five. Liv Lindemann has seven points. Bath has quarter scores of seven and eight. They are led by Claire Faust with five. Both Claire Faust and Ann Oliver have two fouls. Carolyn Mueller has two, and Kyla Carter has three, and we're going to get a turnover on the opening possession. So Jefferson basketball out of bounds. Inbound to be done by Kristen Moore. Staying in that 1-3 chaser. It's Faith Clark chasing Lindemann around. She catches the ball at the foul line area. Steal. This is Oliver headed to the goal, and Ann Oliver steps through and scores, and they're going to get an one opportunity. Yeah, that's one of those. If Lindemann's going to reach in there, she's got to make sure she gets that arm hard enough. To, she can't get the ball up and above her shoulders, and she that, didn't get her. She got her too quick, and that is Liv Lindemann's first foul of the game. That is four points for Oliver, looking at five, and she's a 71% free throw shooter on the season. Makes that. She has her five points. The lead goes to ten. And give her a lot of credit. She's an awful strong young lady, you know, from the shoulders <laughs> up. And that was a strong move to get that finish right there. Sister Elena played here. He graduated a year ago. He's playing at Malone this year. Maddie Burris, a long way away from the basket. Here's a lob pass inside. It's tipped. Oh, nice, nice pass. pass. Yep. Really nice pass. It went from Claire Moore Brinkman to Carolyn Mueller for a basket. Yep, nice, first little, one. nice little dish off there and finish. Good assist pass. Jefferson's played man to man the entire basketball game. Faith Clark with it and Lindemann pressuring her. This is Izzy McDermott with the basketball. And little diagonal screen post action and Jefferson settled to switch that. Faith Clark looking inside, trying to get it to Faust, but Lindemann was behind her. She couldn't get the lob pass there. Yeah, did a real good job yep. rotating, staying at home on that back side, five on ball side. Bounce pass inside. Oliver working the lane. Down low to Faust. What a nice pass, but she overshot it. Got her own rebound and powered it right back up and scored. That, that's the key word, partner. She powered that thing up there, didn't she? Just continued to work, did Claire Faust till she could get the ball on the rim and put the lead back to 10. That's where French might have helped with her size inside. Burris in the corner. Lindemann trying to penetrate dribble. Yeah, they're closing out a little better on Burris out there on the three-point line. Penetration dribble, and Oliver got a hand on that one. There's another good pass, but we're going to get a timeout that will go to Denise Lindemann with 5.39 to go, and the Wildcats up by 10. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Back at Bath High School, we're pleased to announce the new pricing for the WSN streaming service. It's only $8 per month. You can watch WSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wsn.tv. Also available on Roku and on Apple. I'm looking at Megan to see if I said Roku right. Is it? Mo she shakes her. They always tell me I get it wrong. Darren, whether it's they Roku, do? Roku, I don't know what it's supposed to be, but I always do it wrong. Okay. So she conceded I did do it correctly this time. That's the second time out now that's been charged to Jefferson. I bet she smiled when she did it too, didn't she? All, right. All the time. All the time. Yes, she does. Baseline of bounds will be Kirsten Moore. She averages about three points and three assists per game. Oh, nice. Nice pass inside. With a lot of Wildcat size. Lindemann muscles it up. Too much size inside. <laughs> that's the problem. She had nowhere yep. to go with it. She was amongst the trees. Faust threw it out to Oliver. And working baseline. McDermott looks at three. Got it. Is in McDermott's second three ball of the game. Pushes the lead to 13 on an Oliver pass. And then Kelsey Carlson knocked it out of bounds. Yeah, is this, is this wears on in this 1-3 uh, chaser that Bath has implemented? Let's see if they're staying in that. Lindemann's looking at a high screen. 
not there that time. Yeah, they're staying in it. You know, Bass doing a really good job adjusting to the perimeter now and jumping them passing lanes. Foul line jump shot by Brinkman was unsuccessful. Ball rolled across the top of the backboard till the Kittens could rebound it, and then it's foul on Carolyn Mueller. Now she becomes a three-foul person. And we're pointing to things on the floor. What is it? Trying to figure the foul was on. Oh, it's 21. I thought he signaled 22, so that foul will go to Claire Brinkman, and she has two fouls now. Yeah, because I was, is there a 22? I don't know if there was even a 22 out there, was there? Well, he originally signaled 22, yeah. but. Uh, oh, well, there was, is a 22 out there. Yeah. Lob pass inside. McDermott working on Lindemann and throws it on top. Oliver's going to get a three look. Splash. And Oliver has eight in the game and 11 three point field goals on the season. Yeah, that's a matter of knowing where your teammates are because Delphus had nobody within, what, six, eight feet of her. Big shot there, top of the key. Darren, we were in here last week when Bath played at Shawnee, and Oliver had five three-point field goals coming into the game. She finished the game with 10 three-point field goals. Lindemann from deep. Her 21st three-point field goal of the season, she becomes a double-figure scorer with 10. The lead goes to 13. Yeah, you try to write a scouting report up on both of these ball clubs, especially Bath with their interior play and size and ability to pass the ball and shoot it. And then obviously you've got the two players with French and Kendall. There's another Izzy McDermott oh, three. Oh my goodness. Raining threes, isn't it? What's that, three this quarter? She's got, yes it is. She's got three in the three point field goals in the game. Kelsey Carlson has one and Oliver has one. Wildcats got 15 points there. Oliver gets a steal. Yeah, there's the length again. Deflection into the steal. Carlson. Oliver. Works inside, tries to bounce past the ball to Faust, and it goes out of bounds. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard, 29 for the Wildcats, 13 for Jefferson. Yeah, that's, that's one of those, Mark, real quick, that the, the, the angle just wasn't there. There was too much confusion and congestion on the, on the right side. I know what the intentions were, but just the angle needs to improve on that set, and I know Coach Mock addressed that right after the turnover happened. Lindemann lobs it to the corner where it's caught by Kylie Kimmett. There's a pass inside that's knocked away by Faust. Oliver will push the pace. Gwen Faust, bounce inside, Claire Faust. Power layup, good, and one opportunity. Boy, can you hear her pop the basketball when she gets it? I mean, she just snatches it, snaps that other hand on the basketball. That's pure strength. Really good, good hand strength. You know, we talked about uh, Faith Park handling the basketball and Claire Faust and Ann Oliver with their size and senior leadership. But those two sophomores, Carlson and McDermott, they are really coming along in their skill Ooh. level and in their three-point shooting. And then when you throw it, you know, unfortunately they lost Davis apparently. Yes. What you said for the year, you know, you throw her into the mix there. My goodness. Claire Fowles, three for four at the foul line, and now four for five, and she becomes a double-figure scorer with 10. And did we get people in? We are. Yes. We're going to get uh, Claire Brinkman in. We're going to get uh, Carolyn Mueller in. And the Kittens will put in Marley Mason with 2.35 to go here in quarter number three. 32-13, Kittens on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Lob inside, Lindemann wanted to work and could not, gets it over to Brinkman, and that ball is stolen. Case in point, here comes McDermott. Oh, nice handles with the ball, too. Oh, missed a back cut on the backside. Good cut there without the basketball. Is it McDermott handling the basketball out front? She finds Marley Mason. This is Gwen Faust. Pass inside, Claire Faust, skip pass. 
Wedding fouls kind of lost her balance and throws it out to Carlson, or excuse me, not Carlson, that is uh, Allison Hardisfager. Three doesn't fall. Rebound inside Gwen Faust. She throws it up on the rim. Nope. Goes after her own rebound. And a bit of a wild scramble. Somebody kicked it. And it will go out of bounds to, I think, Bath, right? Nope, I guess not. It will go to Kirsten Moore to re inbound. Faith Clark in for Bath. You got better Kyle eyes Kimmon than me in. because I'm telling you, that ball was all over the place right there. <laughs> it was. And Oliver will replace Claire Faust. Coach Mock typically gives both of those girls a break late in the first and third quarters. Lindemann will walk it up. She's got 10 in the game, including two three-point field goals. Here's a three. Shot will not fall for Carolyn Mueller. Oliver surveying the floor. This is Harnish Fager, came in a moment ago. Nice Mason curl. goes off glass and finishes. What a nice pass and play that Marley Mason ended up scoring on. Nice little curl cut action from the backside right there. Nice pass, nice finish. It's been a 19 point quarter for the Kittens. This three goes up from Burris, splashed it in. Maddie Burris has 10 of those on the season. Yeah, give her a little bit too much space right there, and she knocked that one down. She had some really good looks there in the first half. Good finish there by that young lady. Kittens lead is 18. Half a minute to go in quarter three. Gwen Faust looking good lame. Lindemann got a hand on it. And it's going to be kitten ball out of bounds. Let's see who the foul was on. It's like number 10, Kaya Kimmich. Her first. That is the fourth, should there be another foul in this quarter by the Jefferson Wildcats. Lob it out front, Harsfager. Pass inside Oliver, looks at the clock. Spin move, steps up, left hand finish. That will be an and one opportunity for Ann Oliver. Great footwork on the interior. Took her time. Just unbelievably footwork. Got it in the left hand. Protected it with the right shoulder. Going to get the end one. She's got uh, eight in the quarter, ten in the game. And we're going to get a rebound foul that will go against Allison Harnisfeger. Good box out there by Lindemann. 5.3 for Jefferson to get a shot. Lindemann across midcourt, under pressure, gets a shot up. Good quarter for Bath, and they will take a 20-point lead to the fourth. You're watching High School Basketball, WOSN. We're back at Bath High School. Our scoreboard is as brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphi, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken where home style happens here. That quarter was a 21-11 quarter for the Bath Wild Kittens, and they will take a 36-16 lead into the fourth quarter. Ten points for Claire Faust. Ten points Ann Oliver. Nine points Izzy McDermott. On the other side, Olivia Lindemann. Lynn has ten for Jefferson. Burris. Ball goes to Kimmett on the sideline. Back to Burris. Yeah, continually face guarding Lindemann. Pass inside. Claire Brinkman throws it back out and reposts, but they couldn't get it into her. Kimmett comes off a screen, gets into the lane. And pass and Lindemann. Oops, she couldn't quite get to it. Yeah, that's where you got to get your feet set on that weak side. Go to the high post and out the back side. You're going to get high quality looks there. Just, to, you know, don't be afraid to shoot it. Kirsten Moore back in the basketball game for Jefferson. Oliver has it. 
Well, the Kittens have their starting lineup back in the basketball game. As I look through it, I think Jefferson does as well. You know, even though Jefferson's down 20 points, a lot of things can be taken from this tape tonight in this game and corrected, because I'm sure they're going to see it the rest of the season defensively. Liv Lindemann picks up her second foul, and I'll go ahead to the free throw line. You know, we both know what the Northwest Conference presents with Columbus Grove, Crestview. You know, Lincoln View sitting right now, 2-0 and in the conference. Mix them both. He's got 12 in the game now. A lot of basketball to be played yet. We get to the first of the year. Back in the league play. Yeah, like you said, a game like this against Jefferson is going to prepare back for this weekend tournament. Faust tipped the ball loose, but her body went into the body of Claire Brinkman, so that will be Claire Faust's third foul with 6.50 to go. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to be an entertaining game with Marion Local coming up in their host tournament. They're coming up here this coming weekend. Pass inside. Lindemann has the ball on top now off a of screen, and that pass goes off the Hands of Maddie Burris will call for her to handle. Yeah, this big basketball game obviously be played yet, did you hear many of those, but the bath will go to Ottawa Glandorf on Thursday, January 18th, and that right now shapes up as a huge contest. Sure. It does. always is. Yeah, oh, absolutely, and every year. Looks like a huge contest up at Ottawa Glandorf. Yep, Coach Yant and his staff and girls. Off to another tremendous start. Saw them last week when they defeated Liberty Benton. Got Erford back after a knee situation she had. That's a big help for them. Crestview at Jefferson on Thursday, uh, January 25th will be a big basketball game. Pass inside and Faust finishes. Claire Faust joins Ann Oliver with 12 in the game. Yeah, right now. It appears that Bath is just starting to score from a high percentage inside that paint area. Kyla Carter would like to check back into the basketball game. She played well, but picked up three fouls in the first half and has not played since then. A little high-low action gets tipped loose by Oliver to Faust. Pass ahead McDermott. Faust inside, back to McDermott. Boy, they share the ball so well. Carlson. You know, Coach Mock really satisfied with just spreading the floor, trying to play for a layup or something very, very high percentage. So it's five girls on the perimeter, back cuts, flash cuts. There's a lob pass to Faust. That That's was well pretty done. High percentage. Yep, and we've got an injured player. Looks like Kirsten Moore has an injury. We're going to take a break. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Kirsten Moore was the injured player, and Darren, she looked like she hurt her back on that last situation. Yeah, she, uh, she appears to be holding her lower left side of her back. Hopefully it's just a little twist there, mild twist. But she got up on her own. She is she is holding her back, lower part. Hope Brittany, she's okay. Brittany Goodman entered the game for Bass. She wears number 50 and replaced Claire Faust, who has 14 points, to lead all scorers this evening. Nice kick out. Yeah, this will be a left-handed shot by Mueller from the corner, and Oliver rebounds on the backside. Good job by Carter there with the post presence to kick it out to the corner for that open three. This is Goodman who just checked in a moment ago. Brittany, one of the three seniors on this team, the other two being Oliver and Faust. And good defensive pressure, Lindemann. She's got Oliver to beat. Standing on the three-point line, she shot that one. Tip loose. Really good play, Lindemann. Can't score, though. 
And Faith Clark wrestles it away from everybody. Great effort by the visitors right there, the Wildcats of Jefferson. Just couldn't knock it down, but you can't fault their effort. Yeah, really hustle play by Lindemann. But both shots came off the front of the rim. Oliver just holding the basketball. Kyla Carter had her for a moment. And now Lindemann comes out to play her. Yeah, what a luxury to have girls that have the confidence and the ability to put the basketball on the floor, five out. Also pass it and take some time off the clock. Faith Clark looks inside to Goodman, but she backs it out. Heads to the corner. And Ann Oliver, as we approach three minutes to go. I think the Bath fans kind of like this, yeah, don't they? Oh, yeah. The boys basketball team down here, they play tomorrow night against LCC. What do we got? Held ball situation. Into the basketball game comes Claire Brinkman. Hey, this is good to see. Kirsten Moore is back in the yeah, game, too, after her. that uh, injury we thought we're hoping wasn't serious. And glad to see her back. Yeah, actually, we're back here tomorrow night, partner, with two other broadcasters doing the LCC game, I believe. Garrett Seawright and uh, Mark Bagley tomorrow night will do that game. Superintendent Bagley. <laughs> Garrett Seawright back from his duties as a the hockey guy for Northern Michigan okay. doing play-by-play -play for them. All right. I think he's coming in by dog sled from Marquette, Michigan, I think. Okay. Faith Clark. And Ann Oliver picked up by Mueller. Good steal. Up, oh, knocked it out of bounds to Kai Kimmett. This will bring uh, Allison Hardisfigure back in the game, and Ann Oliver's night will be over. She finishes with 12 points. Yeah, Miss Kimmett right there wasn't shying away from that basketball, slapped it right away. Carolyn Mueller will be in and take Kirsten Moore's place. Carlson throws the ball into the backcourt to Faith Clark. Yeah, Kinda. she's really ginger with that back. You know, that's probably not a bad decision to get her out and get some ice on it after the game, and hopefully she's going to be a quick recovery. I'm not sure when they play their next contest, but this one's a little bit out of hand. Nothing worse, you know, could happen here, possibly. Faith Clark. Hurt a little bit more, so yeah, good move by Coach. Want to play trivia, Darren? Which Northwest Conference school has won the most girls basketball titles? Jefferson Wildcats. They're second. They Bluffton. have they have 15. Bluffton? Nope. Crestview. Crestview has 17. Okay. Jefferson, those on a three streak winning streak, has headed to the rim that time. And trying to finish inside was on a razor. No, it's, excuse me, not Razor. It is Kelsey Carlson. I mean, when you take Lindemann, then you've got what, Gregory? Well, Jefferson has won it in 21, 22, and 23. Now, they tied Crestview in 21. They've won it, right, won it outright the last two years. And they will be a factor in this race before it comes you to an end. you got Gregory at Crestview, and you got Osh Moody at Columbus Grove. Yeah. I had her earlier this year against the, the light end. Man, she's a special talent. Kelly Gregory and Liv Lindemann were co-player of the year last year in the conference. Allen East has a couple really nice players. Uh, Ryland Jones can flat out play. So it's going Brooks, to be an interesting conference uh, over there at the uh, Northwest Conference this year. Claire Stokes checked into the game for the red and white. She wears number 24. Kai Kimmett's run the offense now as Lindemann out of the game with 10 points tonight. Nice Lob inside. Pass. That was really nicely done. But the Tough shot break. doesn't finish. Here's Faith Clark. Coach Mock wants a timeout, I think just a sub. He does. He's going to get uh, Gwen Faust in the game. He's going to get Emily Gomez into the game. And you know, Darren, Faith Clark sets down. She's got two points. Her contribution does not come in scoring points. Nope. It's all the little things, right? Wonderful defense, great point guard, handles the basketball, gets them into their sets. 
I noticed a couple times she caught the ball on the three-point line and didn't shoot it. I think her teammates on the bench were going, hey, shoot it. <laughs> but that's not, that's not her role on this team right now, and she is very good at what she does, though. Half a minute to go in this one. Mason working with the basketball. She gives it up to Emily Gomez. And if you look at the rosters, there's some, you know, there's some kids coming from Jefferson and Bath, you know, is not senior dominant, I don't want right. to say that, but they've got some underclassmen coming too. So they've got a bright future, both these schools, for years to come. 17.4 to go in this one. Jefferson has struggled to score in this quarter as they did in the opening quarter. To the rim and oh, shot a little bit hard, and this one will come to an end. The Bath Wild Kittens will take it 42 16, Darren. And when you look at what they did defensively in the first and fourth quarters, uh, Jefferson got the 1 3 ball at the end of quarter number one, did not score in quarter number four. And, and they did score some in the middle two quarters, but Bath was really good defensively in those two quarters. Well, that's a tribute to Coach Malk and his game preparation and the game plan that he had. That's not taking anything away from, you know, Jefferson, because you schedule games like this for both ball clubs, especially at the holiday times. You know, we've both been there on the coaching aspect of it. The season's broken down into three. You know, you play your first part of the season, until December 31st, then you go January 1 until last regular season game, and then you go tournament time. And Coach Lindemann's going to regroup this, these girls, and, and they're okay. I mean, <laughs> you don't come yeah. in, you're sitting at 6 and 1 right now and still 2 and 0 oh in the conference. There's a lot of basketball left. A lot of good things can be taken from this game, even though it's a loss. And for Bath, you know, the game plan they put together, they, they probably found some things, and, you know, Coach Mog. You know, being as long as he's done this, he's going to find something to work on. Delphus Jefferson at quarter scores of 3, 5, 11, and 0. They were led in scoring tonight by Liv Lindemann. She had 10 points for them this evening. And as Darren said, they will drop to 6 and 1. They stay 2 and 0 oh in the Northwest Conference. Bath had quarter scores of 7, 8, 21, and 6 for their 42 points. They will go to 6 and 0 oh on the season. They were led by Claire Faust. She had 14, Ann Oliver had 12. Izzy McDermott had nine, all from the three-point line. And they will go to 6-0, and and they are 2-0 and in the Western Buckeye League. Darren, my last broadcast before Christmas. Have a great Merry Christmas, you my man. Too, you too, yeah. you and your family and your grandkids and everybody Look, out there. Yep. Looking, looking forward to it. I want to thank absolutely. the athletic director here, uh, Kristen Holt. Appreciate what she did for us this evening. Megan Sherrick did all of our technical work this evening. And, she will take this back to Beatty Road and edit it all together for you to view this evening. Bath Wild Kittens go to 6-0 on the season with a 42-16 win over the Delphi Jefferson Wildcats. You've been watching high school basketball on WOSN.